Oreo, stop scratching your butt on camera. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I forgot to show this in the last part. If you die in the overworld, you don't actually die in the overworld. <laughs> you just get transported back over to the main hub. So that's a neat little shortcut if you want to get back to there quickly. Anyway, let's go all the way up to level 2. And I really like this intro area here. It's like a... Uh, like a play setting where you have painted skies and stuff like that instead of you know you get the idea anyway the signs are all pretty much the same you just have that same plain old three mark checklist on there and but you know the checklist in each stage is a lot larger than that measly sign outside the door so that's not really helpful in the slightest and there's a switch there I just seen something shine underneath this thing so and that's where the treasure is apparently uh, I probably need want to break my way through here. There's a gold thing, and oh, there's a switch. Woohoo! And apparently, his treasures, despite them being like plates and stuff like that, he's not being careful with, you know, making sure that they're safe or something. He just punches open the treasure chest anyway. But I guess you probably shouldn't, you know, question that too much. Maybe the plates are made of plastic instead. You know, they're much more strong than your average plate, so you don't have to worry about them quite as much. But it was on a display pedestal, and usually those plates are pretty delicate. Anyway, uh, I'm going to mow all these guys down just because it's going to be fun. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I love that spin move, you can wipe out so many enemies quickly, and I don't think these things right here are switches. It's really called the Wild Swing Ding, are you serious? And the Pile Driver is the Ground Pound? I, I, I'm, I could call the thing, the p Ground Pound a Pile Driver, but the Swing Ding sounds weird compared to what you would expect it would be called. Like, am I supposed to spin on this thing to do something? No, it doesn't look like it. Can I like just I just want to be sure that you know I get everything in the area. I don't think those are switches. But I'm just gonna be sure of it by pounding this one! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm just gonna run through you guys now. And by the way, when you defeat their mama or whatever, the the little ones usually run away scared. Oh, and you see these switches on the walls? Spin in the direction that those switches are pointing, and you'll be able to open whatever those switches are holding. Okay, what does that green one do? I don't recall seeing a green treasure chest back there, do you? I mean, a green treasure pedestal? I, I just don't... I want to make sure I don't miss anything here. I'm just going to do a quick run back. I should probably trust my instincts and not go all the way back. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Is that led up to the gold switch, or yellow switch, or whatever. Alright, going back over and sure enough the enemies respawn. The enemies have a very, very high respawn rate if you just move away from the screen just a little bit. You shouldn't have much trouble getting them to respawn if you need an enemy for something. Uh, or say a larger enemy for something. These things, I don't really know if you can kill them. These blue flower buds like things, you can hit them so many times it looks like they're taking damage, but... They just don't die. <laughs> These things obviously have the highest respawn rate of all enemy creators in the game. What? Like, is there any way to kill... Oh, you can kill them if you spin at them enough with an enemy. Do you get any rewards, though, for spinning at them with an enemy? Like, over and over and over what, by killing them off? I would think that you would, given that these things are ridiculously hard to kill. Can I use... Can I spin with a statue? Yes, I can! Wow, that thing looked really heavy. <laughs> Maybe it'll do more damage and get this over quicker? Apparently not, because two spins took care of the other one. And they're seemingly impervious to punches as well. Kill that sucker, there we go. And you get absolutely nothing for that except for coins? Seriously? Come on, man! Work with me here! <laughs> anyway, wait. Oh, I need I need an enemy to smash through that. I forgot. Those are iron gates. You need to ground pound that with an enemy. Oh, and I forgot to show off that dash move. You press the R button while moving to... To do... Whoa! What is this? This is new. Uh, I bet you those things are gonna fall if I stand on them. <laughs> or at least this one will. No? Really? Well, what about those coins? Am I supposed to, like, 
jump across the gaps and... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to do this. Yeah! Do the R button dash just by running and pressing the R button and then jumping. Oh! <laughs> oh, it just restarts me from the beginning. Okay. I just want to try and do this all in like one run just because it's a really easy area and I just want to get the hang of things, so to speak. Or maybe I should just be doing it like... Like against the camera instead. Like maybe going from here and then doing the jump would be better than trying to do that dash jump in the middle of things. Okay, what does this switch do? Oh! oh. Okay, it takes me up here. And this is a really easy pattern. I've seen this pattern many times before. You just move on to the one that you that is moving forward and you see how they're moving in a clockwise fashion on the left and right side. Notice that? So that's why you always want to be on the left one. That's why that pattern is really easy to follow. I recognize those patterns instantly. Uh, there's a trap sprites. What's up? So those things are called glue globes. So I just saw them as sticky balls. Hold it, well, he did call them sticky orbs, so I wasn't exactly wrong there. I mean, a ball is an orb. Uh, I'm still wondering what that other switch was for, you know, way back there that I hit on the wall. I obviously didn't find the source of it. Is Was there any... Uh, oh, that's a shortcut back over here a little bit later. So I'll most likely be hitting a switch and then coming back to this section. That's usually what happens when there's a backtracking route in games. Um, probably want to see what's over here. There's a green one there. There's probably a green switch up in this area then. Or, oh, this is the mysterious switch that I hit down there. That's the positioning of it. So, okay. And if I needed garlic, I could hit him, but I don't need garlic. Yeah, if you want him to be your friend, apparently you have to hit him. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little frightened to move in here. Go to the outer ring, please. Thank you. There we go. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, I see. They go from the inner ring to the outer ring, and they keep switching places like that. Woo! Uh, this one's a lot more... Ah, ow! That's a lot more dangerous than I thought. It might be. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave those coins for you to collect. I'm leaving the area. <laughs> well, at least now I can demonstrate the garlic guy. Punch him, and he'll spit out a piece of garlic. He doesn't mind you punching him in the slightest, but his prices do sometimes go up when you uh, punch him to get garlic. So, use him sparringly. Anything over... Oh, there's something over there. Or is that... It's another wall-blocking guy? Yeah. Okay, so that's another shortcut back to the first area, I suppose. Can I go on the roof? Oh, there's that wall. Can I go on the roof there? No, I can't. Just wanted to check that. Sometimes there be secrets afoot. Alright, let's move along this path and see what else awaits us. What is that? Well, it's a mini boss, that's for sure. I bet you I have to throw enemies at it. Or I can throw enemies at each other. Can I punch it? No, I didn't think so. It, it's crystally, that's why I didn't think I could punch it. Alright! Gonna throw stuff at it. You! Yeah, that works nicely. Uh, no lasers. I had trouble with Granny because of her eye lasers back in Luigi's Mansion. I will not go through this again. <laughs> I do wonder how many hits you'll take. Probably three because you're an early game boss. There we go. I, I needed you. You would think that a boss that's pretty much impervious to your attacks wouldn't spawn enemies. <laughs> you know, that enemies that, are, are, that its very weakness is composed of, but alas... They just do not learn from their mistakes once they take a hit. Okay, so here's shortcut number one. Okay, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but it's probably to unlock something later. Just a wild guess, I suppose you could say. Oh, there's that switch. Oh, 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 I know, I know. They want me to go over here for this treasure chest. Okay. Now I can just use the shortcut to go back because I knocked that doorman out. <laughs> I'm sorry to walk all over him, but it has to be done. What is down here? It's a trap. 
crap, that's a trap. No. <laughs> that's a pretty terrible trap, actually. And that's a pretty hard to miss um, <laughs> heart piece there, or heart fragment. Where there's so many different paths. I, I question if I'm going in the right way. I don't need. Well, I guess I could use you, sort of. I probably want to see what's over there. Stop charging at me so I may punch at you because you're invulnerable while you're charging. Which reminds me, he shouldn't... I mean, he should be charging as much as possible, you know, if he would, wanted to not die. <laughs> but alas, he does, I guess. There's a blue switch. Uh, does that do anything over here? Oh, it's this thing right there. Okay, so there's another treasure. And this, yeah, that leads me back there, and I don't recall there being any more colored treasure box pedestals, so I think I can move on. Do I really? Oh, I do have to go up there at least, but I, I, I really don't feel like defeating that dang blue bud. It, it takes so long. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave him be and hope... Oh, actually, I need an enemy. I need... A... It, it despawned, really? <laughs> the one time I need an enemy, an enemy is not there. Okay, I can just use you. I will take you all the way back over to the switch. Oh, and now it's back of all times. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> and there we go. Have a rotten day. <laughs> like, if I jump down there, will that lead me to my death? I don't know. Mm. Oh! Oh, there's a switch there. What does that do? I'm pretty sure I've seen a platform of that color somewhere around here. But in the meantime, I'm going to go down that thing. Eh. Just to see what the puzzle platformer is in this one. Looks like I just jumped through the holes, apparently. Yep. Oh, oh I, I see what, what the difficulty is here. It, the spike balls and or the corners will nick you off the edge. And, okay, I can get up here. Get some moolah or a piece of garlic. I guess money isn't the only thing that's inside those things. Is there any hard fragments in this area? I don't see any. Nah, I'm gonna go... I, I didn't see any, but I just want to make sure that I go through it with a different camera angle. To make sure I didn't miss any. I'd hate to, you know, be at a loss of a hard fragment or something like that and... Okay, there's none. Just wanted to be sure. Wait, actually, this is a pretty large area. Hmm. I thought maybe there, there would be somewhere, something hidden around in the corners that, were, that was concealed by the camera, perhaps. Sometimes designers do that sort of thing. Alright, now I gotta find where that blue switch leads, per se. And I just jumped right over that, didn't I? <laughs> it's pretty easy to get back up there. I can just bend around the corner. Alright, what's an odd new type of block? I don't remember that block in the slightest. Is this going to be like a Mario World snake or something like that? Oh. Um. Oh, that's it, really? <laughs> I thought there was going to be more to it than that. Like, I was going to have to ride on top of something. Like, guess not. <laughs> I shouldn't overthink things like that. I overcomplicate things, and that's probably going to be my undoing. The battle ring, so I guess that means... Wait, what? Really? Hmm. That's... Aw, uh, it's another one of those kinds of places. Like the one that I defeated that mini-boss at. So I bet she's going to lock me in. Yup. Alright, let's kill enemies. We've got a minute to do it. I would prefer to have a larger enemy, actually, because I could swing it around or something. <laughs> like this one! Pick him up! Yeah! Chain kill! Well, more like a combo kill of sorts. Pick them up! And you can even hit those pterodactyls. Little crackle guys as well. Oh, you guard my attacks pretty proficiently there. <laughs> oh dear, don't charge at me. Oh, you're not gonna charge, but you will swing like a madman. So I'm just gonna knock your weapon out so you can't do anything about that. And... Now I can really do some mass kills. Yeah! It looks like new enemies don't spawn until you kill all the ones in the 
in the current set, including the one that you're holding, even though it's pretty much a kill once you drop it anyway. That's probably a way to reset the thing so that... Oops, didn't mean to let go of them. <laughs> I stopped spinning a little bit too early. It's probably a way to balance it out so that you can't like continuously spin through the whole thing, even though it's you, your spin does wear out after a little while. And I wonder where the last couple switches are. Oh, I couldn't get up there. <laughs> I should say the last couple pedestals are, you know, where the switch was. Oh, I need a, yeah, a larger enemy to get in that one. It's an iron gate. Come on, there we go. Woo -hoo! Oh, it's another one of these. Uh, it really reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine, like with the weird atmosphere and whatnot, and these special bonusy stages. You know what I'm talking about if you played Super Mario Sunshine. Whoa, 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 bad camera angle. Should I go all the way around the circle to get those coins? Nah, I'm just gonna move on. I've got 2,440 and just from the first two stages, and I'm not even done with the first two stages, so I have a good feeling that I'm gonna have a lot of pocket change. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Uh, I still have yet to find where that other switch, you know, the one that I hit way back over there leads to? Did I just take hit there? I'm not... There's another switch that I don't know the location of the pedestal that the treasure box appears at. I'll probably have to use one of those sets of balloons to... Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. You know, the balloons at the end of the stage to get yourself back to the start and then re-scour the area, per se. And there's another switch, I don't know where the platform is another Super Mario Sunshine segment. Okay, it's not that Super Mario Sunshiny. Oh, this is a lot more dangerous, though. Oh, oh dear. I should probably get down here, actually. This platform's wider. Heart Fragment. Oh, these are alternating against me. Oh! <laughs> oh, poopers. Yeah, it's definitely safer to be on the edges than on top of the platform. I mean, on the center thing than on top of the platforms. There's like really no way to get knocked off there that easily. You can even grab onto the edges I just showed there accidentally. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to make the jump there. And... I should probably get over to that one. Good. Voila. Those are actually kind of tricky jumps for a beginner, despite, you know, this is being an early stage. I need to get up to... Oh, I see, I gotta go like this. Oh, and that, that makes that one appear. How many more do I... Three more! So those three unaccounted switches are the ones that are indeed left, so they're probably just like all around this last area that I'm going up to. Climb up there before the ladder, I mean, before the gate comes back around, of course. Okay, I want—I definitely want to go over here for... I can't go over there first? Really? What? <laughs> There's, I didn't know there was a wall there. It didn't look like there was going to be a wall there. Wait, wait. Before I forget about it, might as well go down here. Oh, wow. Seriously? I have to... I have to go through all these things. I would like to get a good spin going so I can... Well, I can't even break them like that. Oh, jeez. This is going to take forever. I can't even throw it at each other to break them. Come on. And I betcha there's a red crystal plus a heart fragment. They probably will do that just to be mean. I have no idea where it is, but... And it takes them so long to pick up these things in general, these giant Wario heads. I don't know why he would destroy, you know, an idol made in his likeness. He seems to like statues made in his likeness, but maybe he just likes cash more. <laughs> okay, there's definitely something here, but I haven't found anything. And I don't think there's any hint as to where the pooper is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Uh, and I might as well just do the last couple ones, just because there's only three left now. Oh, they did hide one along with the red crystal. Sneaky SOBs. <laughs> uh, so tedious, but at least it's done. 
Never have to do that again, unless there's another one like that. Ah! <laughs> Why would you do that to me? I'm just respawning the enemy right in my face. Well, it respawns, you know, off screen, but you get the idea. Okay, I still have yet to get this. Was that an NES? <laughs> well, that's the end of the stage. So that means I want to go left first, actually. Before I continue on that path. Eh, eh, eh. It's probably a... Ah, there's the purple one. Good. And that's... One left. It was an NES! <laughs> My eyes did not deceive me. Alright, so I've seen this guy up here, which is the last sprite. Of course they are. But I'm in it for the moolah, of course, because I'm Wario! <laughs> That's what Wario does. Greed overshadows all else. And is that the last red crystal as well? In the inside that trapdoor? Yes it is. Okay, well do, Where is the last treasure then? I need well first I'm gonna go unlock that. But I, what I need is why do they keep despawning on me? <laughs> I need a guy to blast open that gate, like you I guess will do. Unless the pterodactyls respawn by now. That's better, because your guys are a lot less tough than the Triceratops guys. Alright. Last red crystal. And it's a big, wavy section. This is, reminds me of Monkey Ball now. <laughs> getting a lot of deja vus here. Really easy segment to get through, unless you're getting, you know, you're trying to collect all the coins, I suppose. Even though, I don't even think that would be all that hard to get the coins if I wanted to. Just walk across the tops of the, tops of the blocks. Alright, I am indeed missing one treasure. Where that treasure is, I have no idea. <laughs> I thought I, you know, went through all the places, but apparently I didn't. I might actually just want to use the balloons to get back to the beginning or something, really, really quickly. Unless it's, like, down one of these pits. You just never know. I might as well try, you know, to explore one of these dark and dreary coin-stealing pits. Well, it, it doesn't steal coins from you on its own. It's those ghost guys that do. There's, this, there's a spring, but I don't want that just yet. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I bet you they're going to hide something in one of these underground areas one of these days. Ah! <laughs> don't grab onto me like that. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is cut over to whenever I find where that last treasure is. And I have absolutely no idea where it is, so this could take me a little while. Oh, it's over there apparently. Yeah, this is that area that I said, crap, it's a trap. But where, where is, or how can I get down there? Is it like... Oh, it's the only ledge I didn't explore here. So there's the last treasure, and now I'll see you at the exit. And here we are! Let's go face the boss! As you see, we have absolutely everything. Except for, you know, the boss medal, but that's part of, you know, being the boss. What do we have here? Some sort of sand beetle, maybe? Oh my... You are not very pretty, <laughs> but I will not judge you. I will judge you for your actions, and your actions seem pretty violent, so I'm going to have to take you down. Oh my, you are very violent. I, it's pretty safe on these corners here where the rocks are. So you spew spike balls, and you you could probably get sucked in that center, I'm guessing. Ugh, ugh, no, no, let me out. Oh, thank you. I'm just jumping up the slope. It's, it's not really that... Hard to resist it. I just want to test to see if it'll suck me in. No, it doesn't, but the, the spike balls do seem to like filter down over to that area. Oh, woo, hee, hee. My god, you're fast. <laughs> I think once I get a hit off of him and he starts doing the crazy slash thing, I should just run away from him immediately. Yeah, I think that's a little bit safer. I think he's a lot easier than the first boss, actually. <laughs> Because now I'm going to get, to get my triple hit in there, and yeah. That was a lot easier than the first boss. <laughs> well, 
that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. This took me like a half hour, actually, just to do this one level. These are some long levels. Pretty fun, though. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. I got a lot of coinage bonus there for a lot of kills.